<laughs> yeah, no, my favorite memory is, well, I have a few favorite memories of that Farm Aid, the first Farm Aid they had. Um, it was the greatest segue from one artist to another I'd ever seen. They had a revolving stage, right? So there'd be an artist performing, and then the stage would revolve, and you and I would kind of twist <laughs> over this way. And then the other artists would come up, you know, performing. And so it was uh, Lou Reed, you know. So Lou Reed's up there. You know, New York City, New York City, New York City, New York City. You know? and, uh, and so he's doing that, and it's great, you know. It's Lou Reed, he's great. And then the, the stage rotates, and Lou w wasn't stopping playing, you know. <laughs> So he's still going, New York City. And, and he comes around, and then the next act is Kenny Rogers. <laughs> and I don't know exactly, I can't remember, because I was so blown away by that. And I'm si I was sitting on the side going, wow. <laughs> and Kenny Rogers had tambourines uh, up on both of his arms, and he had his deal where he would stand up at the front of the stage and throw out, toss out a tambourine, toss out a tambourine. And I just thought, this is the most amazing concert I've ever seen. <laughs> Who, to go from, to, you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, you know? I just loved it, you know? that To me, that was American music right there, you know? One of my favorite memories is watching Exene. Uh, it was off stage with her camera shooting Loretta Lynn on the screen. So yeah. she, she just shot the whole Loretta Lynn concert of uh, performance yeah. of it. So it was, there was that cl culture clash that was... Well, it's not really fed a culture each other. clash. Yeah, but they, yeah. they fed each other in a way. Yeah, they, it, yes. the, the, it, was, it was an amazing... The, the backstage... Okay, okay, so it's a gigantic football stadium, and there's 80,000 people. And I have to tell you, that clip that you showed, we had to go on stage after... George Jones. <laughs> so that was our rotating stage, was George Jones not phoning it in. George Jones doing He Stopped Loving Her Today with 80,000 people singing along. And we're, we're on our side of the stage just going, oh, God. <laughs> you know? What did we do to deserve this? <laughs> you know? yeah, OK, we got drunk that night. Yeah, OK. Yeah. But, but it wasn't that bad. Not, it's not George Jones singing with 80,000 people. He stopped loving her today, bad. What did we do? <laughs> yeah, so that's, you know, and then, uh, and then after we played, or no, it was before we played, it was right before George Jones went on, our drummer, Bill Bateman, just walked, he had, he has, he's not shy like me. He walks right up to George Jones, he says, hey, George, how you doing? And George Jones looked at him and said, you're Bill from the Blasters. <laughs> I know. And then, then he was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then he walked over to me and goes, George Jones knows who I am. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, I have a, so the backstage, there was, it was an enormous backstage. It was a huge other, like like the, the soccer field or something, was used to park all the buses and bands for the musicians. And then there were all these trailers for the dressing rooms. And um, that was just um, surreal because it was like your record collection coming to life <laughs> around these trailers, you know? Like you'd, you'd go to your trailer and get a beer and then walk around and, Oh, hey, Bob, how you doing? Yeah, love blowing in the wind. Did a great job on that, <laughs> you know? And, uh, yeah, to see B.B. King talking to Merle Haggard by a trailer, you know, it was just, like I said, it was my song come to life, you know? Mm -hmm. 